the next slide you can see actually the uh, the introduction of the v uh, vegetation health index um as i anticipated this index um is a kind of uh, um, evolution of the ndvi and because why it is an evolution because in it uh, is a kind of uh, um aggregated index um able to uh a aggregate the NDVI information and the thermal information. Uh, so you can have a information from the vegetation itself and the thermal information. Uh, the thermal information is basically the temperature coming from the soil, the surface, uh, the vegetation itself. And this uh, information is especially important during um, drought periods. When the, th uh, the temperature of the crop is high, uh, it is a sign that the crop is not doing very well because of the lack of water and the poor hydrological status of the plant. When the temperature is low and fresh, then the crop is in good status and uh, so you can you can understand the uh, health status of the crop through uh, the thermal conditions just consider that also for animals when the temperature is high we have we have a situation of a fever but uh, for vegetal vegetation this uh, fever condition is actually called drought so this is why it is important Today we want to focus on the use of the VHI for a, an insurance system. The VHI gives you information on uh, a, the status of the crop, as I told you, as, and uh, uh, usually if you want to have this information uh, during the drought case, you have to call a surveyor and uh, the insurance sent out the surveyor which is an expensive and time consuming operation and the surveyor has to visit your crop and to issue a report if the um, report is approved then the insurance should pay out the farmer accordingly um, well with the vhi state uh, vhi um, a application uh, this whole process is much faster because the three steps you can see in the box in the middle are actually summarized in one only step. Uh, the VHI can be uh, displayed in a map for vast, vast areas in Kenya and the VHI can tell you everything you might understand from the, your claim, the survey and the report. So basically, in one go, you have the information to take the decision, and your insurance can compensate you much faster. And in and uh, uh, the costs associated are very very low. Some people ask me uh, if the VHI is able to get the um, yield. Uh, of the crop. Actually, the VHI does not give you a measure of the yield, but a crop performance. Just see in this example, for example, that uh, you may have two situations, two areas in Kisumu and in Mwingi, and you can have four tons per hectare. The, um, you might be interested to know if four tons per hectare is a good harvest or a poor harvest. Well, in the case of uh, uh, Kizumu, probably four tons per hectare are a relatively poor harvest because they are used to have eight tons per hectare. Whereas in Mwingi, in another area in Kenya, Garissa, Mwingi, in the eastern part of the country, the production is usually quite low, and so four tons per hectare can be even uh, quite good and the performance can come up to 80% as you can see. Eventually, the uh, uh, criteria to take decision on the performance of a crop is not really the yield, but the percentage 
of performance. Basically, the, uh, the yield of one year compared with the best yield possible in other year. This is actually what counts. So for this reason, if you get rid of uh, uh, the unit ton per hectares, eventually uh, you can use even the VHI unit as a, an indicator of the performance, which is eventually um, uh, uh, which is eventually used in the calculation of the ratio between the current performance and the ideal performance. And you can come up to the ideal uh, performance of the um, the performance of the crop. The VHI is represented in uh, um, curves from planting time down to harvesting time. In the blue curve, you can see uh, the ideal performance from planting to harvesting, and in the orange curve, you can see the real actual performance measured uh, by the satellites every five days. So every five days, you can have a new measure of your shamba, okay? And you can compare it with the ideal uh, trend of the crop. In other cases, uh, like this, you can see that actually the ideal crop is much higher than the reality. So it means that if you have this curve throughout the growing season, the VHI tells you that your crop are not doing well. Your crops are not performing as it is expected. And so you can uh, basically um, take your decisions. If you're insurer, if you're a farmer, you can take decisions on the basis of these curves. In this slide, you can see a, a dashboard. The dashboard is an online tool um, a, a gener designed and uh, deployed by my a company for farmers, for insurances, uh, which shows you um, actually uh, a big three information basically there's a big map in the middle uh, and then there's a table here on the bottom left side and the two curves which i was speaking about on the right side um, you can uh, identify your shamba in the map and then this identification jumps immediately in the in the table uh, which lists all the shamba in the agricultural scheme and gives you an immediate um, indication of the performance of your shamba. Okay, this is the dashboard which we have in use in, uh, in Airbus. The ratio between the blue curve and the orange curve gives you an overall crop for that year, okay? This is another example where this ratio is summarized in one figure. In this case, you can see 67. 67 means that the best crop, the best uh, potentials could have been 100, and you only get 67 in this shampa. Shampa, the one indicated in blue, is not performing especially well, but after all, uh, it is still acceptable in my opinion. So this is the output given by the VHI system in the, um, in the dashboard. What you can see now is actually a movie, a kind of a, a video of uh, uh, six, um, six, rice fields from planting time to harvesting time. I think that you, you might have noticed that, uh, uh, I, I run it again, that from the planting time to the harvesting time, the, the colors goes from brownish to greenish and eventually to uh, brownish again. This is because uh, actually, th it is the natural cycle of a crop. This cycle can be indicated by uh, the curves here uh, represented in various colors. Each one of these colors is the um, VHI trend in 
each one of these fields, okay, from one to six. And the first five are quite well, quite uh, a good, uh, well, um, well performing. And the last one, the number six, is actually bumpy and jumping up and down in a funny way. The less performing shamba is actually number six. And so you can take decision on uh, which one of these fields is uh, the most in need for intervention, agriculture, and eventually if you are an insurer, you can have a list of all your shambas here uh, derived from dashboard, and you can even rank all the fields from the top high level here on this plot, on this um, uh, left side of, of the graph, down to the bottom one, which is the most unlucky shamba. Um, each one of these lines, each one of these vertical uh, line represent actually the crop performance of one of your fields. And if you have a large area, it can be uh, a large compound like a Kizumu, compound a large county like uh, whatever you want nakuru uh, you may have hundreds or thousands of these fields and you can rank them all and then take decisions on their performance the 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 ones in need the ones uh, less performant can be eventually compensated by the insurance provided that the insurance set thresholds on um, on these uh, on these values. So this is just an example of use of the VHI for uh, agronomical decisions, uh, farming practices, and also for insurance purposes. That's it for now. Thank you very much, uh, Fabio, for that enlightening uh, session on on the VHI, I think it's, it's, it's quite elaborate and quite impressive what the VHI has been able to achieve. Uh, at this point in time, I will open up for Q&A. And I can already see some questions have come in through the chat box. So one, I can see a question from, uh, we see it here, from Mohamed Diabakti asking, uh, the number of voters taking part in the poll. Yeah, so there are 20 participants taking part in the poll. Um, we will wait. Uh, if you have questions, again, you can either um, type them in the Q&A or in the chat box, or if, uh, you can as well um, raise your hand uh, as a participant, and we will, can also give you a chance uh, to speak. But in the meantime, I will also uh, run one additional poll and uh, we also would like to know um, which one of the following best describes your, your industry or your role. Your role is more uh, more precise. Are you a farm manager, farm owner, a service provider, NGO, inputs, or government? Um, so you can uh, type in uh, which of the following best describes your, your role within agriculture. So I'll give... Uh, three minutes for that role. In the meantime, uh, please uh, feel free to type in the chat box a question, your question, and we can uh, respond to this as well. <laughs> 